In the United States, we overtransfuse many patients having heart surgery, other types of surgical procedures, and those having medical procedures. In fact, probably uh, a good 20% of all transfusions are unnecessary, and as many as a, an additional 20% of transfusions are inappropriate. So nearly half of all transfusions in the United States at many of our hospitals uh, may be unnecessary. Excessive transfusion can lead to infection, heart attack, stroke, and even death in some cases. It has been independently associated with renal failure and untoward outcomes for patients having surgery. On April 14th and 15th in Phoenix, Arizona, Mayo Clinic along with Cleveland Clinic will be co-hosting Transfuse, the transformative fusion of innovative blood management technologies. This two-day multidisciplinary course will focus on state-of-the-art treatments and techniques to reduce unnecessary transfusion in all patients. There will be a number of innovative highlights in Transfuse. One of them will be the launching of our new blood management application for the iPad. This educational and clinical consensus guiding application will help to educate physicians, nurses, and other health care providers about the importance of appropriate blood management. It will further go on to help provide guidance for different therapeutic options to reduce unnecessary transfusion. Finally, the app will help us to gather clinical consensus for the, from those participants as to how they would best use various modalities to impact proper blood management procedures. With the iPad app following an educational session, you will then be directed to a number of clinical scenarios. And in those clinical scenarios, which will occur either in an intensive care unit, in an operating room, in a patient's hospital bed, or in an outpatient setting, you will be asked to uh, gather information about that patient and that clinical situation. Based on that information that you then gather, you'll be able then to make an appropriate decision to either initiate a transfusion therapy or perhaps to initiate some pharmacologic therapy that may prevent a transfusion. And finally, be able to go to one of our animated videos that tell us and show us what in fact happens with transfusion when patients are given a blood transfusion and they may experience some of the negative effects such as a stroke or a heart attack. My colleagues and I are very appreciative of the Center for Innovation here at Mayo that have provided the grant so that we were able to develop this iPad application that we see is going to be used initially for blood management and then hopefully for many other areas within Mayo. So to the Center for Innovation, we say thank you.